Uh, we're starting out uh, planting some Kelsey sweet onions, and we're going to start with uh, a very small seed, so uh, it's better to get them in early. Uh, I like to get them in around December the 15th, and that way you get a large onion, uh, six, seven, eight inches across uh, in, uh, in the season. So we start by filling a tray with number one sunshine mix. Uh, the um, the best uh, it's the best for all around planting and uh, replanting. And then uh, I firm it lightly, and I take a uh, tapered board and make a grid, uh, able to put the amount of seeds that I need for each person that wants them. And by that way, they get a good root system, and they're nice to plant out at the time when, uh, in February. Um, okay, we use a seed spoon, and Kelsey, sweet onion seeds, very small, fine. And just go through the tray and put one on each corner. Time consuming work, but it pays off with good root systems. Oh, so you put it in the intersecting lines, not, yes. in, not in the middle of the... Uh... Yes, right. Right on your intersection lines. So much easier to count then and do, you don't lose track of how many you've done. This is a peat mixture with a planting uh, component, some fertilizer, uh, some perlite or vermiculite or whatever it is, and there are the white spots you see in there, they're for added uh, aeration. And then you just go through that Put it down, cover it where you're seated. So they're going to be about a quarter or to a half an inch deep? Yes. The seeds? Quarter to half. Uh, then you just firm it lightly. Water lightly. Put it on the heat mat here and then turn your lights on when they emerge when they've germinated and emerge then you put your lights on to give them 14 hours of sunlight or light per, per, per day and they germinate in three weeks so about a month of light about to two to three maximum two to three weeks mm -hmm. yes and uh, they, um, then they'll grow and get a good root system by about February. Mm -hmm. They can be put outside. Regardless of the weather? Regardless of the weather. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. They're so, tough little buggers. Yeah, they're good, good tough ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, They'll grow all winter here mm -hmm. in this climate mm -hmm. uh, in BC. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, you don't have to worry about them getting cold. Mm -hmm. Mind you, it's better probably mm -hmm. to cover them and give them some protection, but mm -hmm. you really don't have to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. they'll do well. And do they need uh, extra care after that, uh, fertilizing and watering and yes. whatever? Yes, a good balanced fertilizer uh, in the soil before you plant them. Also, uh, you plant them in your your hottest location, and they require lots of water two main things, heat and water. Mm -hmm. They are very, very good growers to that. Do they show when they need water? Because there's onion leaves are kind of hard to tell. But no, they don't really not. tell you. That's no. just, uh, just to test the soil and mm -hmm. just maintain a good water level. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. and that's about it for Kelsey Sweet Onion, and they are so good. So when they're 
ripe, whenever that is, uh, then you pull them up and you sun dry them, or, or what yes. do you do? Uh, they will be ready to uh, what they call kick over or topple the tops or turn them over in the soil when you see the tops start to die down in the autumn. Mm -hmm. late, late summer autumn, the tops will start to go brown and when they get down to a certain stage where they're mostly all brown, then you turn them over, take them out in a week or so, put them in your hottest, sunniest location to cure for about three weeks. Mm -hmm. And then put them in mesh bags mm -hmm. in a cool location for the winter. So you never trim the tops of the leaves to no. make the... There's no secret to uh, getting them bigger. No, no. <laughs> no, they, uh, they just do their thing and mm -hmm. uh, they will uh, produce. Mm. And they're not particularly storage onions, are they? No, they the Kelsey, as opposed to the uh, Walla Walla, will store probably two, three, four months, where Walla Walla will won't store at all. Mm. So you have to eat them right away. Mm -hmm. But the Kelsey is a, is a good storage one. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. So do you have to buy a uh, Bigger slices of bread to, because uh, <laughs> you're talking about a six-inch round slice of onion. Yes, that's right. No, uh, well, it, it could be, but <laughs> they are so so good. After the uh, peas, we have the uh, Kelsey uh, sweet onions. Now this is really a uh, lovely product to grow. It's lovely to eat. Um, this onion, uh, its culture is very important when you want to grow it because if you, if you know it and you appreciate how to grow it better, it, uh, it should be seeded early in January or to get large ones and uh, transplanted out here into the, into the garden under cover in February. And uh, the culture basically is the larger the top, the larger the bottom you're going to get. So it's, it's important to get them started early. The, um, the top grows until the summer solstice and then it starts to put all of its energy into the, into the bulb. And they grow on top of the ground, as you can see. And um, this is August first again. Uh, we're going to probably cut the water back slowly now until the end of August, uh, early part of September. It will take less water uh, and then uh, and you can cut the water completely once the tops start to die back and let it, let it mature and take the onion up later on in September and let it cure out of the bright sun, but in the hot sun. Don't let it get wet. And it will take about one week to two weeks to cure it. And then they're ready to put in a bag in the, uh, in the um, garage or wherever, in a cool place, in a, in a bag, and hang them.